Shalom, all praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the hopeful elect Akim that are teaching this word. Shalom, Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kwadash. Now, as you can see here, this is a, a clip from uh, Austin Holman's channel. You know, one of the, you know, one of the uh, Jake men that travels the world, right? You know what? You know he was once like a passport bro or whatever, but he travels the world. Or he's, he was once part of that collective, but he ain't anymore. But anyway, he travels the world, and in this video he does like he occasionally does live streams. So I check them sometimes, and in this one he talks about America's hidden weakness in global war because he's he talking about World War Three and best places to you know he's a thinking Jake, and the Jakes he's around are thinking Jake. So he, he's talking about World War Three and. And basically the best places to be when it goes down, basically, you know. And um, Austin Holman, he, he predominantly travels around South America and Africa, you know. And uh, the guy on the far right, I believe, lives in like Chile. He talks about it here. And uh, the guy in the middle, he's, um, he lives in America, but he's married to a woman from South America. So, you know, they're in the same net circles. But the guy in the middle now, he's like a, I believe he's like an ex-military man. And he even talks about how he grew up being self-sufficient. You know, he knew how to, he knows how to hunt, make fires. You know, he knows how to grow food in the earth and things like that. Whereas he, they, he talks about modern American, modern, well, they predominantly focus on Jake. How modern um, Negroes in America don't know that, basically, don't have those skills, you know. And how basically it will be like, they're even going into it in the video that, how America will be basically, Babylon will be one of the worst places to be during these calamitous times, man. You know, they go into it. So I'm going to play a little bit of what they say from the beginning. I mean, there's, this whole video is pretty good, but I'm going to play a bit of it from the beginning. And there was a specific, there's, there's other points also in it, but I'll just play a bit from the beginning and let them go through it. But the whole premise of the video is basically, you know, Amer how America is basically one, will be one of the worst, Babylon the Great, which is America, will be one of the worst places to be during the calamitous times, all right? It will just be total chaos there. So I'm, I'm going to play this here. Making major mistakes when it comes to relocating to a different country during the World War III uh, conflict. And just like my man Fearless just said, you want to make sure that you go to a country, if you're going to be going, to a country that is resourceful, for example, one of the things I enjoy about South America, most of South America is self-sufficient. If it was cut off from the rest of the world, Brazil could still be mainly Brazil. Paraguay could still take care of itself as a cattle and ranch uh, 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 area of the continent. So can Argentina. Mm -hmm. Chile is still self-sufficient. The Chileans and Ecuadorians. Colombians, we're sitting on the oil as well as uh, uh, Venezuela is sitting on the oil as well as the oil in, Sur in Suriname and uh, in uh, Guyana. So this continent is self-sufficient for the most part. That's why after World War II, many of the, the Nazis came Our over to and came over to South America because they knew that if anything happened, if they were pushed up against the wall, which they were, Many of the soldiers, if you're going to a country, you have nothing except the boots on your feet, you can make it. And that's South America. And that's why they chose South America as the continent instead of going to other parts of Europe or going to Australia or New Zealand. They realized that there's a whole continent that's self-sufficient. So that's one of the major reasons why. Uh, I chose this country because I knew that it was self-sufficient. If anything ever happened, this country, as well as the rest of these these other 11 countries in South America, could take care of themselves. So do you believe that uh, countries with strong civil defense systems provide a safer environment during a conflict? No. Like, no? No. Why is that? No. Because if it's, if it's going to go that route, uh, a lot of times, as you guys will know, the way that the world is set up right now, many of the attacks are going to happen from within. They're going to be the, 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 for example, let's just talk about our home America, for example. It's not going to be a plane or a missile coming from the, uh, the outside. A lot of it is going to be a panic. That's going to destroy America, just like uh, during COVID or just like in Florida during hurricane season. 
Second thing that's going to destroy America, all the anti-American groups that are already in the United States that have been waiting for an opportunity like this. So a lot is a lot of attacks on America is not going to come from the outside. It's just groups that are already established on the inside from from in, in various different states and various different locations. They're going to cause America to uh, fall into the place that it's going to fall off into. The next thing is when we sit back and we often think of that, OK, if we get our military strong enough. But most of us already know that in World War Three, the number one attack is going to be cyber. Yeah, we're gonna shut your banks down. Mm-hmm. We're gonna shut down your 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 water system. Yeah, we're gonna shut down your food supply, your shipping that's coming into the country. You're gonna think that the boat is gonna be going this way, but we're gonna impact the boat's uh 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 GPS and, and, and navigating system. So now it's veering off to another location to where you could have swore your ship was going. That's what Americans are. Americans sit back and we often think of our military might as. You know, we're the fiercest, we're the strongest, we've got the most artillery, but that can only go so far during cyber war. The other thing that we have to take consideration that's going on right now, they are training drones to do things that soldiers once would do Mm -hmm. as far as spy work. So, so, you know, the guy on the far right, he, you know, he, the man on the far right, he's going in on this. He's saying a lot of things, man. So you heard what he said. America's going to be destroyed from within. Different factions. Have we not been at a great millstone been saying that? you got KKK faction. you got militia, different militia groups. you got the southern states versus the northern states. You know? So it's divided. And it's going to be destroyed from within. So, I mean, they're going into it. It's going to be basically the worst place to be, you know, when, it, when all hell breaks loose. But we know that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to deliver the elect. But, you know, for prophecy's sake, the Lord is going to make America, you know, he's going to bring heavy judgment on that land. But he's going to deliver the elect out of it. But, and the Lord's also doing it to punish two thirds, man. Because he, I mean, there's more in this video. It's, it's worth a watch. But he even says, even later on in the video, he talks about how China created TikTok for like, um, pretty much for, uh, you know, um, I forgot what that warfare is called. But, you know, it's basically in China, they, when they show TikTok to the Chinese in China, because it's a Chinese company, when they show TikTok in China, they're showing their people like winning awards and their people doing like the Chinese citizens that use it, doing like great things. So they're, they're, the, the, the general Chinese population is consuming that. Whereas in America, when they show you TikTok, what do they show you? Fluff, b- bullshit, women dancing, kittens and just nonsense. And I forgot what that kind of warfare is called. He's, he even mentions it in his video. But yeah, pretty much he, they go into it like um, how South America, like being, and we even, look, man, we even say it when, when the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai takes us to the wilderness, we believe that the wilderness is going to be what? South America. And we're going to go there and we're going to separate our people down there, you know, bring judgment down there as well on those that don't want to repent to Yahweh Shai. You know what I mean? But it's funny that he mentioned that South America is more self-sufficient, you know, is a more self-sufficient land. And talking about even just how the people are in general also, whereas Babylon isn't. You know what I mean? These mega metropolis cities, what do they rely on? Deliveries, food deliveries. The, most of the people don't know nothing about where the food even comes from. They just consume it from their mar- supermarkets. So what, about, what happens when that all gets shut down, man? So we know the Lord's doing this to bring judgment upon the two thirds of Israel, man. And who are Israel? You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. So I'm going to read some scriptures and Lord willing, I'm going to play a bit more of that video. So uh, let me read this here. Jeremiah 7 and 16. Therefore, pray not for this people, neither lift up a cry for them, neither make intercession to me, for I will not hear thee. See, it's, yeah, and that's, that's, that's the point I want to get at. It. Therefore, pray not for this people. Yeah, because the two thirds of our people are wicked as hell, man. So this was Jeremiah, and Jeremiah was going through all sorts with the, those wicked kings back then. He was telling them what Yahweh Bashem Yahshai told him to say, and you know they were hurting him. Put, I believe they put him in stocks. You know they bound his arms and his and his neck. So it got to the point where even Jeremiah got in that spirit. Man, I'm praying for these two, these nick these niggers, man. So therefore, pray not thou for this people, neither lift up a cry. Nor prayer for them, neither make intercession to me, for I will not hear thee. Yeah, the Lord ain't hearing the two thirds. So this is I'm reading this 
equating to the judgment that's getting ready to come down on them in Babylon. See, in Babylon, the Lord's only going to deliver his hope for elect that have believed on him. You know, whereas the rest of our people, the two thirds of our people, they're going to meet horrific judgments, man. Famine, lack of food. You're going to have marauding, you know, killers all over the streets. You're already seeing that. These, these um, migrants coming in. You're going to have UN troops there just taking two thirds out. Racist Ku Klux Klan motherfuckers coming into the ghettos, the US army, all sorts, Gurkha troops. So all kind of calamity is going to come upon the two thirds and we're not meant to pray for them. See, we pray, see, we're over here in the UK and Europe and stuff and we pray for the hopeful elect Akia, man. Brothers in America going through, going through it, the elect brothers, pray for them. We pray for one another all over the world. But of course, primarily in Babylon, because that's the worst place to be in these last days, man. It's going to be a great deliverance from there, but it's going to be a lot of hell taking place there, man. But we ain't meant to pray for the two thirds. Too, see, the judgment's coming down on them two. It's going to come down heavy when Babylon collapses. And it's already happening. Okay? Why? Because the two thirds of our people are wicked as hell, man. All right? They're in a wicked, evil um, spirit, man. They're in a wicked, evil spirit. Let me read this here. This is Judges. Okay, this is Judges. Judges 10 and 13. All right, Judges 10 and 13. Yet, ye, yet ye have forsaken me and served other gods. Wherefore, I will deliver you no more. And this is the Lord speaking to, the, to Israel, man. Because what was the, what was, um, what is, what is the common thing with Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans? Yahweh Bashem Yahushai saves us, delivers us, you know, and then what? Then two thirds of our people go and pray to other gods, give glory to things that, you know, idols and all that. Just like when we got delivered out of Egypt, the first thing that they did was they gave glory to idols, man. Remember, they got all the, 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 the earrings and the gold and they built that, the golden calf, man, saying that's what delivered us out of Egypt. Just when the Lord literally just delivered us out of Egypt. It, see, that's how you know who the Israelites are, because Israel mm -hmm. has got like, they're like short of hearing, man, or short of uh, thinking, because the Lord will do miracles and deliver us. Then two seconds later, they'll act like it was someone else that did it or some idol that did it. So this is what the Lord is going to do in these days too. He says, yet Judges 10 and 13, okay? Yet you have forsaken me and served other gods, which our people do today. They forsake Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. They, they serve um, Serapis Christus, which is the, 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 white, the other white meat. They serve, uh, they serve Esau, his system. They serve, you know, Muslim gods. They serve Hindu gods. I mean, Jake is into all sorts, man. They've forsaken the, their true power, man. But the elect haven't, you know? You see? Have forsaken me and served other gods. Wherefore, I will deliver you no more. Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. Okay? And this is what it is. Because when all hell breaks loose, that's when... Let's, and that's going to happen now too. When all hell breaks... Because this truth has been out there. All right? In, particularly in America, I mean, I, I just saw a video recently that the apostles and brothers were doing videos on it of, you know, a montage of Jake's mocking the Israelites. So guess what? When, and so the truth is out there and the Lord's name, Yahweh Shai, is, is all over the earth. So there are people have heard this. So when all hell and calamity comes upon them, you're going to have some of our people try and call upon that name. Oh, what was them guys on the street corner saying? We will make, you know, they're going to try and call on that. What does the scripture says? My servants shall eat. But basically you shall, you're going to starve, man. But the Lord's servants are going to eat. So the, the ones that have proclaimed Yahweh Shai in Babylon, teaching his word all over the world in sincerity, the hopeful elect, they're going to be good, man. Whereas the two thirds are going to be, you know, they're going to go through hell, man. They're going to eat their own kids. You know what I mean? They're going to be graping, they're going to be grapes going to be going on. Death every, on every corner. You know? The Lord's going to make you eat your words, man. Every idle word that men shall speak and women, shall, they shall give account for in the day of judgment, man. And judgment day is fast approaching. And America is, is the place, the main place of judgment on the earth, man. So go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Let them deliver you in a time of your tribulation. Yeah, let them other gods you have chosen deliver you. Why? Because, you know, the, 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 the brotherhood's been out there teaching in the spirit of Yahweh Shai. You know, uh, let me get this, Proverbs 1, right? Um, Salakia, bear with me a second. Yeah, the brothers have been teaching all over the world, man. You know, 
proclaiming this truth all over. It's all over the internet, on the highways and byways. So there is no excuses. But you know, two thirds, they continuously mock us, man. Continuously, well, it's not us they're mocking. They mock Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai continuously. So he's gonna bring calamity upon you. Proverbs one twenty four. Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have set at naught all my counsel and with none of my reproof. And what's the counsel of the Lord? He's, his words, man. His words of correction, okay? And where are you going to get that from? His men that he has set up all over the four corners of the earth, beginning with the apostles and the elders. That's where you get the correction from. It's not us speaking, but Yahweh Shai speaking. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So it says, but you, 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 you two thirds, you've rejected, the, you've rejected knowledge, man. You'd rather stay in America, Babylon. You'd rather stay in the, that wicked, evil spirit of America. All right? So, but you have set out not all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. And your fear is coming. Your fear is going to come. When the lights get shut off in Babylon, you know, the, suit, the shopping, the, the, the fast food's no longer there. The shopping centers the, where, you, where you get your readily packaged food is no longer there. You know what I mean? You know, there's, there, you know what did the Lord do in, in, the, in the Egypt of old? You know, remember when he, the Lord made it a thick darkness in the land where you couldn't even see any light, man. You couldn't see a candle light. It was a thick darkness and all you could hear in Egypt was what? You could hear the sound of wild animals in the thick darkness, man. That's coming back. And you can imagine the, the fear in the air in that time, man. Okay? So I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall you call upon me, but I will not answer. Yeah, that's what they're going to they're gonna say. What's that name? Some of them even know the name. How many, of, how many videos do we see of two thirds mocking the name of Yahweh Shai? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai constantly. They always, they always do it, man. It's like a joke. I mean, even last week we was, you know, brothers over here where we camp at, you know, there was a, I think it was the last week or the week before, you know, a few Jakes walking by laughing at us. You know, we, we, we know what it is. But guess what? Your fear is going to come. Okay. It says, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For they have hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Exactly. You, you two thirds have not chose the fear of the Lord, man. Two thirds of you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. And the truth is out there. So you will know, you know, what the truth of what the Israelites say. It's everywhere. You know? But you, you've rather chosen the way of this world, man. To follow after the so-called white man system. To follow after his beliefs. Which is confusion. Which is do as thou wilt. Which is basically sinning. So you're going you're gonna to get judged for that, man. Let me read this here. And I'm going to end it on here. But I'm going to play a bit more of that clip as well. Zechariah 13 and uh, 13 and 8, right? But let me uh, play a bit more of this here. And I, I want to jump to it. I don't probably maybe skip through, but let's hear what... As far as surveying, there's a camera on every corner now in the United States as well as other countries. So the surveillance war is going to take place as well. So it's, it's not what people think when they're saying, okay, there's going to be bombs dropped all over the place. I, I'm like a uh, fearless. I think that they're not going to go for that first. Mm -hmm. I think all countries are going to say this is our last resort. Just like America with Hiroshima and Nagasaki, that was a last resort. They didn't want to use that first. But hey, listen, they had a, they, they had a, a war that they want to bring to an end abruptly. And that's what was the last resort that they use. But at the so end of the day, go ahead. No, what I was going to say about the cyber attacks, don't you think that I've heard conservatives, mainly conservatives like Trump, say that China sent things like TikTok to infiltrate and cause unrest within the country itself. Do you think that was stuff like that was a start of the attack? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I, I, I really believe it, when you said the start, I think it's part of the attack. But I, I thought I think that um, the propaganda game has been going on for years uh, all the way back to World War One uh, and World War Two, before the book propaganda came out, uh, to how to program the everyday citizen in a particular country. Yeah. So we're we're you know fast forward eighty ninety you know a hundred years almost. You get a chance to see that it still works propaganda. Like mm -hmm. we've already had, we've already proven that the Russians had been involved 
by way of cyber involved in our 2016 election. We already proved that. And this is the point. You know, that's the point on it. That's the point on it. You know, the calamities that are going to come upon Babylon. So this is Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. And this is talking about all the land of America, Babylon the Great. Okay? Two parts therein shall be cut off and die. That's the two thirds, man, which is a, a large number of the nation of Israel, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. But guess what? The, the two thirds, they're going to die and be reborn again through the loins of the one third, through the loins of the elect in the kingdom. They're going to be born again. Okay? But they're going to suffer the judgment of, you know, what they're going to have to go through now in the land of Babylon. Okay? And die, but the, the third shall be left therein. And I'll bring the third fruit part through the fire. That's those of the elect that have believed in Yahweh, but Shem Yahweh Shai kept his word, did what they're supposed to do, man. Okay, believed on the Lord of the Lord of Heaven, the true power, man. Not mocked him, not scoffed at him, not scoffed at his men, you know, but just believed in the word, kept it straight down the line, man. Okay, and I'll bring the third part through the fire, and I'll refine them as silver is refined, and I will try them as gold is tried. Okay, they shall call on my name. The importance of that name. But see, the elect is going to call on Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. We're going to say that name. And we say it when, when he's, you know, when we're in so called good times and we say it when we're in so called bad times. We ain't going to say it right when our calamity is upon us. We, we call upon the name for everything, man. You get paid your daily bread, you know, from work, hey, for what the Lord for that money. You know what I mean? You've got a little bit to survive. If we, think, we say for what Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai for everything, good and bad. And we don't mock the names, all right? And I will hear them. So the Lord's going to, Lord will and hear us, man. Okay? And I will hear them and I will say, it is my people and they shall say, the Lord is my power. And this is, that's what I'm, I'm going to end it on that. You know, but you know, judgment's going to come upon two thirds in, uh, in Babylon the Great, man. Okay? And, it, and it's fast approaching. You know, the decline and fall of Babylon, you know, it's upon us. It's here. So you know with that I'm going to say all praises unto Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Racha Kudash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the hopeful elect Akim that teaching his word. Shalom Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Racha Kudash. Shalom. Shalom.